Yo, what's going on guys, and welcome back to the series, and today we got episode 2. Now, episode 1 was um, just us figuring out, like getting along, starting the story off, choosing our team, and then playing the preseason games, which I think we did pretty good. Um, and now, we, uh, ha now we're now we starting the regular season, and how this series is going to work is that every episode we play two games. Um, so like... In this episode, we got the uh, we got the Titans and then we got the Panthers. Uh, I'm not gonna show obviously the whole game. I'm just gonna show like highlights basically. Um, um, but you know, just you know, sit back, relax, bro. Get some popcorn. Get some popcorn. If I just convince you to get popcorn, just like the video and subscribe. Like, come on. Um, so yeah, we're about to face the Titans and we're gonna have to shut down Derrick Henry. Luckily, um, I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to tackle him. Um, but Joe Schmo is definitely going to go off this game. I can just feel it. And we are at Nashville, Tennessee. There's Joe Schmo walking in for his first official NFL game the NFL. with the New York the Giants. Look at Joe Schmo, Saquon Barkley. And they're gonna go head to head with Derrick Henry and Ryan Tannehill. The giant All right, so we we're getting the first. We're on the ball first. There's Joe Schmo walking out there. Joe Schmo's gonna get the ball first. The Giants are gonna get the ball first, really. Let's give our defense a break. Let's score some points, right? Um, and we're starting with the passing play with Joe Schmo. We're gonna pass to Saquon. Saquon hopefully getting something there. Saquon breaking free. Saquon gets the first down and then gets hit to the ground. Didn't think the linebacker would get up there enough time. There we go, passing. Ooh, it's gonna break. Oh, broken up again. Evan Ingram having a tough time. Like, Sterling Shepard. Oh, and it's picked off. The linebacker was way faster than Joe, Joe, Joe Schmo expected. And wow, Joe Schmo gets blocked there. All right, so we're coming back on. They scored a touchdown in the first drive of the day. So we're going to see what we can do on our second drive of the day. We're just going to, you know, calm some nerves, hand it off to Saquon. Saquon going for about three or four. Josh must having a tough time reading those linebackers. He passes the tight end. Tight end gets it. First down. Recommending some four verts on this because that hasn't worked out so far. But we're going to go ahead and do something else here. And that one is wide open. No one covering Evan Ingram. Evan Ingram gets him fight for yards. Yes, sir. There we go. Right, here we go. Come on, get there. Get there. Oh, get out. Oh, man. Man. Joe Schmo's going to go for the tackle. Oh, Joe Schmo misses it. Joe Schmo misses the tackle. All right, Joe Schmo is strutting back onto the field for the third drive of the day. They're down 14 to nothing. Hopefully they can get something going on here. Still though, you know. He throws it out to Evan Ingram and the, <laughs> the, the corner hits the, the Nas and teleports to get to that ball. I mean, okay. Man, Joe Schmo is really not looking good for these Giants. Man. We gotta even the score. We got we gotta get another touchdown. To help out our defense, you know. Help him out a little bit. Shepard is gonna make that happen. Rolls out to the right, yes, sir. Make something happen with that play. Let's go, Saquon. Saquon outruns him. Saquon going to the left and gets tackled out of bounds at the 16-yard line. First and ten. And uh, hopefully, I don't throw a pick here. He throws it out. End zone. That's a touchdown. Oh, no touchdown there. On the ball here. So I'm going to throw it to Shepard. Shepard with a touchdown right before I get sacked. His, it's Joe Schmo's first passing touchdown of his regular season career. Of his official NFL career, his first touchdown comes to Tennessee. Now they're only down by one touchdown. If our defense can hold them, I don't know if they will be able to, though. Now we weren't able to hold them, and now Joe Schmo rolls or Joe Schmo rolls out for another go. Schmo's wanting the refs. That was, that was definitely a rough in the past. I don't know why they didn't call that though. And Joe Schmo gets smoked again. Do that. We're, we're just not gonna do that. And wow, he just doesn't even go for the ball there. Joe Schmo is gonna have a serious talk with the receivers. 
Um, he was really pissed at his receivers for not going after those. So Joe Schmo, Joe Schmo rolls back out um, for this second half. And uh, we're straight away calling a passing play. We're on the 18-yard line. We got to get this one right here. Shepard, and it's picked off. Joe Schmo throws another pick. He throws a pick inside the end zone. Joe Schmo actually is knocked away. Um, even though it showed he made the catch, I don't, I don't know there. Um, ooh, Shepard makes the catch in traffic, and one of our linemen has been injured. I don't know why he didn't have an actual receiver trying to make that play, but uh, we did. So. And the tight end, Evan Ingram, making the play. Good job to Evan Ingram. Wow, I'm 9 for 23. That is insane. That is terrible. How is that even a thing? Joe Schmoke gets another play. He makes the catch. Can he go to the end zone? No, gets stopped right before the end zone on four. Fourth and goal. I mean, sorry, first and goal on the four. And we're going to try to run this one up the middle. We're going to call audible here. Run to the outside. There's the hole. Saquon gets it. Joe Schmo leading them to that touchdown. Calling that audible. They definitely, he definitely, gotta eat, he definitely would have gotten eaten up at the line if I didn't call that audible. But Joe Schmo calls the audible. Everyone's chanting that Joe is average. Average Joe. And Joe wants to shut him up. Joe really wants to score on this drive. So he's going to do everything in his power to try to do that. As he passes to Shepard and is picked off. Didn't throw the ball fast enough. And man, the crowd is really chanting as they pick it off again. Not feeling great about himself at all. But he's going to go try to do something for his teammates here. He throws it. And it dropped. He dropped the ball. Joe Schmo going with the screen play here. And... Saquon Barkley runs up, gets the first down. Joe Schmo takes the snap, passes to Shepard. Shepard gets it, threw it a little bit earlier than last time when we got that pick. Joe Schmo's definitely going to do some evaluation after this game as he takes the snap. As he throws it, why is he getting sacked? And it's picked off while he gets sacked. Kevin Byard, another pick. That comes while Joe Schmo gets intercepted, or gets he gets intercepted while getting sacked. Drive this game, and he is just really livid right now. He is so frustrated. He is getting all emotional. This drive is not looking to be good, but he's going to try everything in his power to make it good. As he passes it to Evan Ingram, Evan Ingram racks it in the middle of the field. They're getting down to the 50-yard line. Two-minute warning on the game, but he throws it so slow that these slow linebackers can just hit the boost and get it. And he tries to throw it, gets sacked again. Schmo break. Joe Schmo is almost it just he is he is furious right now. He is just absolutely livid as he passes it out, makes the toe-tapping catch. There he he is thinking about giving a corner to Shepard. Hopefully Shepard can do something with it. Shepard, and it's picked off. It's picked off as Joe Schmo gets blocked. And Joe Schmo gets blocked again. He's breaking tackles. He's breaking tackles. He's going to go all the way. And nobody can tackle him. He's going to go all the way. Joe Schmo just threw a pick six in his first NFL game. I think there was a turnover, and they're going to give it back to the Giants with 38 seconds left. Joe Schmo. Just wants to get some passing yards. Tempo drills at this point. So there's nothing even worth even playing for anymore. As he throws it in the middle of the field again. Sacked while he throws it. And is picked off again while he gets sacked. And so the game is over. The Tennessee Titans blow out the Giants in the Giants opener. And Joe Schmo is almost in tears. He is so disappointed in himself. He doesn't know if he's going to start next week. Um, he is begging coach right now. He just did absolutely terrible through so many picks, bad reads, and he's just got so emotional, got so frustrated at his offensive line. 
and his receivers for dropping those balls too. And, uh, man, the, because of the the poor defense and the poor offense, the, the Titans had it was almost like a scrimmage. They had a field goal, and uh, they went at home at their home opener as the Giants have to go back to the drops and playbook moves and prepare for the Carolina Panthers. So Joe Schmo had a QBR rating of 42, had a completion of 16 for 37. He had 306 yards, so he threw more yards. His completion percentage was 43. He had one touchdown and seven interceptions. That's got to be like a record or something. And there's Joe Schmo back in the rain for the first time since his last preseason game. And uh, yeah, last week we did not put on a great performance. And this, you know, this week, I guess, we're going up against, obviously, the Panthers. And we're going to go ahead and see what we can do here. I don't know, you know, how this is going to go. I mean, it is the Panthers. They are worse than the Titans. So that's making, you know, that is making Joe Schmo feel really, really good. It's kind of like the first preseason game. We had a terrible first preseason game. And after that, he really checked himself. I had a great game and now he's checked himself and now he's playing at home for the first time he's, he's the Giants home opener you know Joe Schmo really really thinks he's gonna go off and I really do think he's gonna go off too and the fans are giving him one last chance one last chance to do something here and um, yeah Jalen Hurts is on the Panthers I don't I don't know why <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I don't know how but yeah he is so you know not on the Eagles anymore Joe Schmo is rolling on for a First ever drive in the Giants Stadium in his rate in the regular season, and a lot of their, I mean, the, the fans are split 50 50. People think they should give him a chance. People think say they should just like leave him in the dust. And Joe Schmo wants to prove that he's 100% their guy. Going for our first real passing play of the day. He throws to Shepard. Shepard makes the catch. Gets thrown down. Third and six now. He passes to Shepard. Shepard over the middle as he's getting sacked and it's broken away. Great coverage there by either the linebacker or the safety. I wasn't sure which one it was. He passes it to wide open tight end. The tight end goes for the first. Gets the first down. Joe Schmo. There we go. As he passes it to Shepard. Shepard gets the first down with the forward progress. Now they're going to Joe Schmo's favorite play, the slants. As he passes it to Shepard. Shepard gets it. Shepard breaks the tackle. Touchdown, Shepard. Joe Schmo's first passing touchdown. Or sorry, second passing touchdown of the year. First passing touchdown of the game. And first touchdown of the game for the Giants at all. And the first touchdown at home. Joe Schmo making a great, a great pass, an even greater play by Shepard breaking that tackle. The Panthers, we gave them too many opportunities without a score, and they score again to make it 10 to 7. Not making it easy on Joe Schmo. Joe Schmo hands it off to Saquon Barkley for the first play of this drive, and he gets brought down. Gets about five. And Evan Neal, one of our best linemen, goes down. We have another lineman down. The situation isn't isn't good. And I feel like it's a sign that I should uh, probably get some of these guys on on, on, on some blocking routes. You know what I mean? Um, Joe Schmo passes to a wide open guy on the left. He's rolling down, breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle. Gets finally gets brought down at the 35. Now when we're in the red zone, I like to do play it safe, not do any deep things. Let's do. Some slants, pass it to Galladay. Galladay is calling for the ball. He's been calling for the ball all day. Finally gets his a first down. Uh, first and goal on the three. Gonna do a pass and play here. Shepard with the grab and touchdown Giants. Joe Schmo with his second touchdown of the day. Kenny, or sorry, um, with Sterling Shepard with his second touchdown of the day. And the Giants get their second touchdown of the day, so. Big play there. We're up by about a score. They get the touchdown. So now that we're finally scoring, they 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 just extend the lead with that clutch. I guess now, looking back, was a clutch field goal. That's now putting them up by a lot. And we're saying, 
We're gonna go ahead and throw it deep here. And we're gonna throw it up there. It is broken up. Joe Schmo thinking that we can even do something he usually does. Try to get something open over the middle. He does, and he's caught. Timeout Giants. We're going down here to score or at least get a field goal so we can tie it or lead at the half. Man, Joe Schmo, I don't know what it is about it. He just can't throw a deep ball anymore. Joe Schmo throws it, and he's going going to go out of bounds here with 10 seconds left. Oh, and it, it, it wasn't out of bounds, I guess. <laughs> he, went, he went out of bounds, but the refs, for some reason, kept the clock rolling. And they might not get a touchdown here. He's throwing it. Toe tap. Now that is out of bounds, right? Okay, it is. It is it's out of bounds. And they're going to take Joe Schmo on the offense out of the game. They're going to go for a field goal here. So they are back out onto the field. Um, and they did end up making the field goal, tying it at the half. And first play of the game, we're going to hand it off to Saquon. Saquon rolling out right. We got a pancake there. And Saquon going for the first down because our lineman who got injured came back and he got the pancake. 100 yards, luckily. Joe Schmo throws it to Galladay. Galladay, and it is picked off. It's picked off again. J.C. Horn gets the pick. Because Galladay just doesn't want to go grab the ball. Galladay and Joe Schmo are probably going to have a little bit of a talk and see on the sideline. Wow, that is definitely pass interference. <laughs> wow. Galladay. Galladay makes the catch, breaks the tackle, breaks another tackle, finally gets brought down at the 47 yard line. All right, so Joe Schmo wants to make this play here. Joe Schmo rolling out. Joe Schmo doesn't get the first down. Fourth down and two. So we're going to one of our go-to plays here. As he breaks it, takes advantage of the cornerback's blind spot and gets the touchdown. Great play by Joe Schmo and his receiver. First touchdown of the second half. All right, so the Giants are going back on the field. They're up by four. We're not going to do anything special here. We're just gonna we're just gonna hand it off to Saquon. Saquon's gonna take care of this game. He's gonna put this game away, and uh, we're just gonna run this clock out. They do have three timeouts though. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Don't have to chew clock this one. Just got to give Saquon the ball. Saquon juking out. Saquon touchdown Giants. Saquon Barkley with his first touchdown. Is that his first touchdown of the year, I think, I believe. Saquon Barkley making the play. Juking out. Juke him out his shoes. And then going in for the Giants touchdown. And this... So, the Carolina Panthers did end up scoring and uh, going for two to where they only need a field goal to tie it. But you know what? It doesn't matter. It's kind of good that they did that so we can see Joe Schmo take a knee. And look at this. Just take this in for a minute. Joe Schmo getting his first win of his NFL career against the, the Carolina Panthers, his first home win in the Giants' first home game of the season. Go, As the Giants officially get their first win of the season, Joe Schmo gets his first win of his career, of his young career. And the Panthers are wondering what went wrong. And I feel like we were definitely the better team. It was just those those, those clutch little field goals they got. We got to a little bit of a rocky, rocky start. We still had the momentum from last game. And you know, Joe Schmo comes back from a three-point deficit, I guess. And you know, Joe Schmo, take, at the average Joe takes care of business. Joe Schmo takes care of business here. So Joe Schmo had a 103.1 QBR rating. He went 14 for 26, uh, 211 yards in completion. He had 53. Um, Jalen Hurts definitely did better. He had a little bit less of a QBR, just by a little bit. Had more completions, 
um, with more attempts though. Um, but his completion percentage obviously showed that it was better. Um, you know, 288 yards. But I did have one more touchdown, but I did also have an INT, so that kind of evens that out. So Jalen Hurts definitely won the quarterback battle of the day. But yeah, Joe Schmo um, having his first good game of his career. So Joe Schmo and the Giants get the win. And there they are walking back into the locker room, happy at Joe Schmo as uh, they beat the Carolina Panthers to go 1-1 one and one on the season so far. And a great um, performance by Joe Schmo, you know, I mean, it was it was a little, you know, the, the one the one interception that drive was pretty you know, crappy, but um, overall, pretty good day by Joe Schmo and his offensive line. You can see them praising him. Um, they better because I mean, he's they're the reason why he gets you know has to throw into the pressure and 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 and, and throws picks and everything. But uh, um, yeah, it's just gets the win here. Um, you know, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Um, it's fun, you got to see Joe Schmo. Do terrible against you know you know the Titans and then do amazing um, like on the on the, on the Panthers and you know next episode since we're doing two um, two two games per episode tomorrow we're gonna debut it with the Cowboys the Giants versus the Cowboys we're gonna see him go up against Michael Parsons and throw Trayvon Diggs his way and then we also next episode we're facing the Bears. And we're facing both of those at home, so we're at MetLife both days. And then just giving you a preview of even episode three. Episode three, I'm sorry, episode four is going to be obviously the the, the, the Packers and, and the Ravens. But you know, well, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here. Um, we just came off a great win. Already focused on the Cowboys. Definitely gonna be preparing for the Cowboys. Um, but yeah, let's go.